Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in. I hope that you've been safe and well, and if you haven't, you're in the right place because I haven't been well for quite some time. Although I have to say today, I do feel actually pretty good. Um, I don't have energy on the inside, but I did my makeup because I was like, Maybe if I look more refreshed and more lively, um, I'll feel it. And it's definitely working. Um, I really love how my hair turned out. I did kind of a bl dark blue shadow root and it turned out the way that I was always envisioning. So when I changed from aqua to more of a cool blue color, um, I was really hoping for this effect and I finally achieved it. So yay, gold star. Um, and then I did my makeup. I did my nails yesterday. Um, and they're not perfect because, you know, I, they're homemade, home done nails, but I, I think they're pretty good. They're not terrible. Um, you know, I, I would give them a, a B, a B, a solid B. <laughs> um, but I think they're really cute for winter time. H had I spent a little bit more time on, you know, getting the cuticles nice and, and finished up and, and then laying the nails down, certainly they would look better. But I was like, I want to do nails, so I'm going to do it now. <laughs> and so I did. <laughs> and it, it, yeah. I think they turned out really cute for the little time that I wanted to spend on them. <laughs> um, but anyway, I hope that whatever you're going through, that you're able to tough it out. Um, you know, there's lots of things that I could be sad about. And I, I just a few minutes ago, I was crying in the shower. But now I'm in front of you and I want to focus on the things that I do have, the things that I have in my life that give me joy, uh, like my new blue hair, my makeup, my nails, my plants are flourishing. I have little window decals for the winter time. Um, I have a couple little like winter time decorations. So th those are really cute and everything. I love talking to you. Um, and I just, I have a lot to be thankful for. Um, you know, I'm really close with my family. My nephews are so adorable. Uh, my sister keeps posting really cute photos of the, or videos of them and photos of them. And it's just so great to be part of the family that I am in. Um, I, I have taken them for granted at some times, but they've always been there for me and they're really there for me during this struggle. Like I, I talk to someone at least, you know, daily, multiple times a day, um, and they help pull me through. So I'm really grateful for that. And I also have amazing friends who, you know, have also reached out to me and talked me through some, some really hard times and really bad mental, uh, episodes. Um, so that I'm very grateful for. Um, it's just really hard. And, um, I'm really glad that I've reconnected with a lot of people. So, I mean, listing all of these things that I'm grateful for really helps me feel better. And I think that that can really be helpful to you too. So, you know, take some time to just sit around and look and be like, I am thankful for this. I am thankful for that. Um, you know, and, and treat yourself too when you, when you can, you know, maybe it's like doing a face mask at night or getting your nails done or, you know, dyeing your hair. Maybe that's not your thing. Um, but you know, maybe getting a new book or, or ordering a new plant or, um, propagating the plants that you have or spending time with your, your pets. Uh, that can be very helpful. Even just talking to them can be helpful, even if they don't talk back. Talking to you has been super helpful, even though, you know, you can't talk back to me either. So, um, there are multiple ways that you can, you know, find joy and create joy in your life. Um, I think that, you know, it's unrealistic to think that your partner, the people around you are going to know your feelings automatically or know how to react when you're not well. Um, so it's very important to 
have some time for introspection to really understand like what boundaries do I need in my life? What are some healthy boundaries? What are things that are really off limits for certain people to discuss with you because it makes you really uncomfortable? And then just be open with them about it. Um, it doesn't certainly doesn't have to be a confrontational thing, but you can just say like, when you talk about X, it really makes me feel uncomfortable and I would really prefer to stay off of that topic if, if you can. Um, obviously people, you know, forget and they might need reminding. Um, you know, in the past I've, I've been really harsh about that on people, you know, it respecting my boundaries and stuff for my, my mental health. But, um, you know, I need to have more patience with people and I need to have more patience with myself, um, ultimately. So, you know, as hard as I am on other people, I'm like a thousand times harder on myself and I'm trying to become my own best friend. You know, the things that you wouldn't say to your best friend are the things you shouldn't say to yourself either. You shouldn't, you know, think that you're worthless or fat or ugly or stupid or, you know, all of those negative things um, that you sometimes hear in those internal voices. Um, I hope that I'm not the only one, but you know, those internal things in your head that you are saying to yourself um, that are self-sabotaging and are, are hurtful. Um, you know, first off, why are you saying those things to yourself? Why are you so hard on yourself? Um, in particular moments and then how can you redirect that so for instance you know sometimes I'm like oh I feel terrible I'm so gross and ugly and oh, no one's gonna like me well then I dye my hair and I do my makeup and then I feel like a different person I feel like a better version of myself um, and it's, it's not necessarily, you know, that I have to do my makeup to impress other people or I have to do my makeup or I can't leave the house. I certainly leave the house more often without makeup than I do with. Um, and I've, I've worn a blank a blanket dress for quite a few days in a row and I don't care. <laughs> so there are times when I'm like, I don't care about how I'm looking or whatever and I still like am friendly and I'm still made friends looking that way um I just don't feel as approachable and as outgoing it for myself if if I don't have you know a little bit some of something to put together you know if I'm not projecting the person that I feel on the inside I that that does make me feel insecure um certainly with this physical disability on the inside in my head I'm the same person that I was three or four years ago going to the gym all the time being you know really hardcore you know being very uh focused on on my you know my job and my career and all of this and that and I just have to remind myself that you know it's okay I'm not that same person unfortunately I might not be that same person again and that's scary and and disconcerting and that brings up a lot of feelings in me um it's it's certainly you know grief is part of it um but also the fact that now I have to d decide again who I am um so I was, I was going to stop the video because I'm like, I'm rambling, but maybe this is good for other people to hear. So I started like an online dating site uh, where I joined an online dating site. I didn't actually like develop it. I started on one and they ask you all of these questions about like, are you an active person? Are you adventurous? Do you do all these other things? Are you very active? Are you sporty? Blah, blah, blah. And I had to change the answers that I would have written like the the person that I feel on the inside would write totally different answers than the person that I actually am inside and out <laughs> um and so I had to take that into consideration and I'm also being very honest about my disability because I'm I can't I'm not gonna hide that um but I'm I'm really nervous that no one's going to 
to care for me because of me being disabled. Um, and that's my own insecurity that I have to work through. No one else can validate that for me. You know, obviously, like, people can give me compliments. I might be able to start dating people. Well, I have kind of started, I, I sort of started dating people and then I stopped. Um, so it really has not hindered my ability to, like, meet people necessarily um it is difficult because i don't don't go out very often but that's also because of age um and because i don't drink so much anymore but i you know am also you know i just feel like i'm antisocial a lot more and with that also might be age um but but yeah so I mean, even though, like, my handicap hasn't completely stopped the whole dating thing for me, I just, I'm nervous about putting myself out there as this person that I am now and ha getting rejection because of things I can't control. So that's something that I, wow, this went really deep. Um, that's something that I really need to work through myself. It's, it's, you know, an insecurity of mine that I need to get over and I don't need the makeup and I don't need the hair, but it makes me feel more secure with everything that's going on. And ultimately that's what's important, right? Um, you know, doing things to, to stay as active as I can and meet people as I can and not feel worried about impressing people or feeling so vulnerable that p people could take advantage of me in different ways. Um, you know, it's unfortunate that I've had doctors who, you know, were unprofessional at times. There were doctors who, um, you know, tried to take advantage of me financially and everything but uh for in different ways and I just you know I need to let that go and realize that that doesn't apply to everyone um but it you know it's hard having to having a, a big sudden halt in who you were as a person and then starting up again and trying to figure that out. Yes, I still have some of the same hobbies that I used to have, which is something, you know, that's important to me um, to keep up because of it being, a, you know, at the same time, like, so one, it's nice to have the reminder of this is who I am still, <laughs> um, but it's also like sad because it reminds me of who I used to be. Um, so, I'm, I'm working on it. Um, so it's a double head, double edged sword as, as it is. So, um, anyway, uh, yeah. So yeah, this got really deep. Oh my gosh. I was not planning to like open up so much, but that's the, that's the, the, the honest truth of it. Oh, um, is that I have a lot of insecurities because life has changed on me without me having control over it. I don't have a lot of control in my life right now, or at least that's what it seems. And that scares me and it makes me kind of shut down and shut in. And I just don't want to go out. I don't want to be around people, but I know that ultimately that's going to make me reflect back on my life and feel disappointed, feel like I met, missed out. Um, you know, obviously I'm not going to go out to the bars or, you know, do things crazy because that's certainly a person that I've, I've shut, you know, that chapter in my life is closed. That's not who I am. Um, but that was on my own terms. And now I'm in a situation where I have to shut chapters on my old life, not on my term own terms and that's hard so I don't know if if any of this resonates with you um, but thank you for hearing me rant and ramble and talk about some of my insecurities which is making me really like anxious and insecure um, but um, anyway I have an affirmation it has a cute little onion on it and it is depth 
<laughs> which is, I guess, suiting because, you know, this conversation went very deep. Um, now, you know, quite a little bit about my little, my psyche a little bit more. Um, so anyway, so here's the affirmation, death. As new people show up in my life, I look for all the weird, wonderful, complex layers below their surface. I, can, I can't be surprised by someone's depth of character unless I'm willing to peel back the outer layers and go a little deeper. It's like the brand new saying goes, don't judge an, on an onion by its haircut. <laughs> <laughs> so that's definitely suiting. So, you know, I hope that I can meet people who allow me to see their inner layers of themselves. Um, I, I don't like having those stupid conversations where you're like, how's the weather? Blah, blah, blah. Nah, nah, nah. You know, th those are like elevator conversations to me. It's not conversations that you really have with friends, uh, with people who you really want to form a connection with. I love having like more in-depth conversations with people. Um, and at the same time, I hope that I meet new people that will you know, take the time to peel back my layers because I'm a weird, crazy, complex individual too. So I'm, I'm hoping that that happens eventually. I hope that I find someone special. Um, sorry. I hope that I find someone special and, um, you know, that's not the only goal in my life. I have to figure out what priorities I want to make um, in terms of meeting people, in terms of my own safety and comfort level, in terms of, you know, fitting my health. You know, my health goals are number one. Um, and then number two is like my dog and my family. And, num you know, number three is like the friends and everything and then you know on top of that is you know the idea about meeting people and whatnot so I need to find out how to balance all of that um the holidays ah the holidays like are either really good and can help you um you know, understand yourself, reconnect with old friends, old flames, whatever else it can be a really good thing um but honestly, like for like single people, the holidays are so stressful because, you know, you see couples with each other and you want that too. You want to find that for yourself. But I've also seen other couples who have really done poorly. And in my past, when I was with other people, I did poorly. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping to eventually find someone who brings out the best in me that really helps me stay on track with my health goals and supports that and you know isn't someone who's pulling me away who's taking time out of my schedule um you know but someone who can work with me to to have you know a, the best life possible someone who I can grow together with that's really what I want um and eventually I might have it. But I think I also need to work on these insecurities that I have um, regarding my mobility. Um, and it's a balance. I don't know. I don't have the answers. But if you have any tips, tricks, whatever, <laughs> I will certainly take them in the comment section. But um, I don't think there's like a trick for everything in life. You know, there might be some makeup hacks that you can use that work for different people, but they're not like one size fits all either. So if you can't even make a makeup hack one size fits all, how are you supposed to say that a certain way is the best way for someone to live? The certain way is the best thing for a person's mental health. There isn't. Everyone's very complex and everyone's very different and your needs might be very different than mine and other people around you and that's okay. But um, we just need to keep communicating and communicating with ourselves, taking some time to really think through um, our insecurities, our, you know, what causes us anxiety. Um, so that way we can let it, let go of it.
um, ultimately. But it might always stick with us somehow. And then when it pops up, we can just say, get out of here, you know? <laughs> anyway, I'm just rambling on at this point. But thank you for joining me. If you've stuck through the video, thank you so much. Um, please, you know, like, be be gentle. <laughs> be gentle with me. Um, I'll be, you know, I'm, I'm a sensitive person deep down. I'm, you know, I... I wear my feelings on my shoulder or on my sleeve. What is that saying? I wear my heart on my sleeve. I don't know, but I put myself out there a lot and, um, you know, sometimes it's bitten me in the butt. So I hope that that doesn't, but I, I just, I appreciate you. I appreciate you spending time with me and allowing me to just ramble and talk and, go through a bunch of stuff and I'm hoping that, you know, some of it might resonate with someone and help them through a, a difficult situation too. That's my, my main goal. Um, but anyway, I hope, <laughs> I hope that you have a great day. Take care, be safe. I care about you. And also if there's snow drive safely, please. Thank you. Bye-bye.